Hello, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. <laughs> well, I am the government and I'm really busy now. You have no idea how hard it is to be president. I always like to say politics is not a bad profession. If you succeed, there are many rewards. If you disgrace yourself, you can always write a book. So, what you doing here? This, oh, I'm redistributing the wealth. I learned in school spreading the wealth is good for everyone. Well, I learned from real life that it's not. What about the guy you're taking money from? Okay, so it's good for 75% of the people. Isn't taking money from one person to make three others happy a good thing? No, it's a very bad thing. In fact, there's a word for it. It's called theft. But it will better the lives of three-fourths of the people. Actually, it will make life worse for 100% of the people. And we call that socialism. I can't stand how all you conservatives say socialism, like it's a dirty word. That's funny. I feel the same way about how you liberals use the word capitalism. How about giving me five minutes and let me tell you a story, Jelly Bean? No, thanks. I'm good. Well, they're mine and I'm happy to share some. That's all right, Ron. As I see it, I'm already entitled to at least half of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Not long ago, there was a college professor in Texas, and he... Oh, oh, can you make it Southern Methodist? I'm gonna have me a presidential library there one day. Sure. Yeah, right. When I'm president, I'm gonna have the biggest presidential library in history. Yeah, because yours is gonna be the only one with an adults-only section. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I just cracked myself up. So, the professor was teaching one day, when one of his students came up with what he thought was a brilliant idea. Professor, on behalf of the entire class, I would like to go on record and say that socialism works. It gets rid of the upper and lower class. No one is rich and no one is poor. We would all work hard and we would share everything. Oh man, yeah, go us. Uh, sounds wonderful. Uh, we'll be able to have private jets, right? Hmm, don't think it'll work very well. I feel what you're both saying and I love you for it. You are both very intelligent women. You pig! Oh, it wasn't me. Socialism, huh? All right, let's do a little experiment. All grades will be averaged for the next test, and everyone will receive the same grade. Oh, uh, that sounds good. I mean, the best students will still have pretty good grades, and now nobody will feel like a failure. Read my lips. No one will be a failure. Right, son? You got it, Pop. This is great news. I better text my buddy Carl. Red Rover, Red Rover. No need to send those answers over. Yeah, you probably would have got caught anyway. I wish I had that on tape. So the time came to put the experiment to the test. It didn't seem like much changed. Maybe one or two had doubts. A very good question. Very direct. And I'm not going to answer it. Here, I smoked it, but I never inhaled. I know, you're not a criminal, right? I have inhaled and exhaled everything. Well, class, the results are in. Everyone got a B. What? All right, go us! Bill, this is all your fault. I demand a recount. Hey, this is perfect. My average just went up. No child left behind, right? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, well, 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 the students who had studied hard were upset, while the students who had studied very little were happy. But when the next test rolled around, the students who had studied little studied even less. And the ones who had studied hard decided, since they couldn't make an A, they wanted a free ride. So they also studied less. The second test average was a D. No one was happy. When the third test rolled around, the average grade was an F. I like the color red because it's a fire and I always see myself as being on fire. The scores never increased as bickering, blame, name-calling all resulted in hard feelings. And no one would study for anyone else. To their great surprise, all students failed. If you think I have worked all these years to let her ride on my coattails, and not you, you, this. you, this is not my me. fault. I can't make a B on my own. You see, class, socialism doesn't lift the bottom up. It tears everyone else down. That was a stupid idea. I could have told you that on tape. Wait, I, I think I did. Who came up with this idea anyway? I'll tell you who came up with it. The new kid. Ooh, let's get him. Uh, let me be clear. Get him. Never mind. <laughs>
So, what did you think, Chief? Interesting story, but I, I don't see it the same way. Well, just remember, government's first duty is to protect the people, not run their lives or steal their ambition and dreams. A government big enough to give you everything you want is a government big enough to take away everything you have. 